I want to do a little bit of a thought experiment this morning. I want you to imagine that there's a belief set and that in this belief set there is a tenet that allows a person to lie. And that person can lie about any number of things regardless of what all they actually can lie about. The point is they can lie as a part of what they believe, as a part of their religious convictions, if you will. Now I want you to imagine that uh, one of the things that they can lie about is things that are political in nature, things where they can tell people they believe or they're going to do one thing politically and they're going to do another. Okay, now we've done that, so let's now take a person, we're going to take a fellow who is a, a adherent to this belief set. And by the way, I just want to point out, does such a belief set exist? Maybe, maybe not. I don't, it really doesn't matter. What's significant at this point, in fact, in fact, it kind of does matter because we want to make sure that we're not biasing things. We want to we want to make it so that people can't say that's not what my belief set says. Right. So let's assume for just a second that we're not talking about a specific belief set, just an idea. OK. All right. So now we've got a fellow who is an adherent to this particular belief set and that individual decides he is going to run for public office. Okay, now I want you to imagine another individual, and that individual has a belief set in which even if what's true makes her or her group, you know, of believers look really bad, she still must tell the truth. And I want you to imagine that the first guy also has. Uh, no requirement to behave properly, particularly towards people who are not members of his belief set. He doesn't have to care about them. He doesn't have to worry about them. It's not a concern for him whether or not they're good people or bad people. None of that matters, right? Okay, so the, and the lady, her belief set says, um, I must treat all people well. It doesn't matter who they are. Uh, I have to do my best to treat them how I would want to be treated. That means with respect. That means I have to try and do good things for them, you know, and I have to kind of try and learn what it is that they want and I need to do those things. Okay, so we've set up our, our sort of baseline here and we've got these two people and the two people are uh, people who have very obviously almost uh, opposite belief sets, right? Which would you prefer to have in office? Would you prefer to have the person in office who's willing to lie to you, who you're maybe not a member of the group that that individual believes in, uh, who doesn't really care about people, particularly outside of his little group? Or would you ha rather have the lady who's going to tell you the truth, even when it's painful or hard for her to do at times, and she's going to do her best to treat you properly? Which would you rather have in office? I don't think that's a very hard thing to, to determine. I don't think it's very hard to decide what most people are going to want is the individual who's going to do the best sort of thing, right? In fact, one of the arguments about leaving religion out of politics is the fellow who has the belief set that says that he can lie and so forth, right? But here's the problem. You may think so, you may believe it or, or not, Everybody is going to have their actions, their statements colored by what they believe. And if they don't, their belief set just really isn't very good or strong. This just doesn't take a genius to figure this out. So the idea that we're going to somehow separate religion and politics is a pretty ridiculous idea. On the face of it you're not going to do that it's not going to happen people are going to believe what they believe and by the way if their beliefs are good beliefs you want them to do that okay so here's the thing you're going to say well but the guy who is allowed to lie in his beliefs that guy is going to be a going to be found out somebody's going to realize this guy is a liar can I just point out that both of the current contenders for the presidential seat in the United States in the next election have been called, if not just regular liars, habitual ones? Is it true? Is it correct that either one of them is? 
I don't know. I don't know. And I'm going to point out something else. Everyone, at some point or other, has lied. If you dig for long enough, you're going to find ways that you can say, well, this person lied or that person lied. Everyone does that at some point or other. Now, to be fair, some people try to be really honest and they just make mistakes and the mistakes end up being what people term lies. Okay, so that's so that's the truth. But the point is, everybody has at some point or other, probably multiple times, said something and that thing can be viewed as a lie. So when you go back into dude's history and you say, okay, is he a liar? Did he ever lie? The answer is going to be yes, of course. Of course he did. So that's not really necessarily something that means he's going to be considered to be disqualified or whatever you want to say from the office for which he's trying to run. And if he happens to be very personable, he may win that office just on the basis that he's a very personable individual, right? Even though the under, other individual is far more equipped to do what the office calls for, because most such offices are probably going to say, hey, you need to be uh, unbiased, largely you need to be just, you need to do for the people who put you into the office what needs to be done for them within the within the confines of your ability to do so. Okay, so obviously I'm out of time, and I, I sooner or later I'm going to have to change how long I decide that I'm using for my little my little discussions but the point is that when it when people argue that religion doesn't belong in the public square that politicians and that voters shouldn't use their beliefs to decide who should and shouldn't be in office okay they're making a pretty ridiculous assertion when you think about it and I don't care what your belief set is. You can be a Satanist. You can be Islamic. You can be Christian. You can be uh, Buddhist. You can be whatever. The reality is you're going to consider your beliefs when you select a candidate or when you actually decide who wins a given election. You're going to take your beliefs into account when you do that. And if you don't, as I say, your beliefs are horribly weak. Okay. I've spent way too much time here, but I think you get the idea. I hope you do. And I hope you realize that when people tell you keep religion out of politics, that's not a happening thing. It's just not going to occur. It doesn't work that way. But it is, uh, see, I've done it again. Uh, this is, of course, Sunday's uh, five-minute summation, which is way more than five minutes. It is the 27th of September, 2020. And... I want to thank you for watching and hope that you have an excellent day and that the start of your week has been a good one or will be a good one. Uh, by the time you see this, it'll probably be has been uh, and that you have a wonderful week to come. Uh, I hear that in this area, we're going to potentially be seeing rain again. So that's just life. But I want to wish you the best of days and hope that things are going well for you. And if they're not, I hope they start to improve over the course of time. All right, you have a wonderful day, and we will probably see you tomorrow. That will be Monday. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you want to see more content from me of various kinds, you can go a number of places. One of those places is my blog, which is blogs.kpshubert.com. I have a Twitter, a Parlor, and a Minds.com account, and my handle on each of those is at kpshubert. That is at k-p-s-h-u-b-e-r-t. Uh, you can also see my Facebook page, which, which is Kurt's Religion and Politics. I also have a YouTube account and a Rumble account, and uh, have a channel on each of those. Again, it's the Kurtz Religion and Politics channel. And finally, if you want to support me, you can go to Patreon, and you can find me under Kurtz Religion and Politics there as well. Thanks again for watching this video, and have a wonderful day.